uh, at the uh, at down at the courts. This is appellate courts yesterday and today. The yesterday was the cameras in the court. That was yesterday, right? And was the issue about if you're if you're going to have a public trial, you're guaranteed the right to have a public trial. And that's as most public as possible. And today's uh, world, today's technology is that cameras are in the courtroom. And this is the choice of the person that's on trial. So if somebody doesn't want the cameras and doesn't want that public uh, trial, that's their choice. But when somebody says that we want the most public trial available, then the cameras need to be allowed. So that's, that's the question. That's where, where Insight Insight is. Those are the issues that we present. We don't want these secret courts. We don't want to keep hearing these stories about how judges have transcripts altered and some of the egregious things that go on so that if there's a camera in there it eliminates all that mischief that goes on in our courts. Today there was the conversation that Mr. Kinley filmed was uh, the family lost uh, statutes, how they are unconstitutional and how they deprive parents of the parental rights. And we do, he's, they're saying we have phone calls, so let's take a phone call. Caller, are you with us? Question or comment? Yes, I am. This is Rich Neumeister. How are you, Bob? Good evening, Rich. I, I just have a question. Uh, two weeks ago, you had a great story about uh, an elected official being escorted out by a deputy sheriff. Then last week, I was looking for, because uh, you talked about it at the end, but it was a repeat. <laughs> and then Mary Devine did a great story, I thought, about what happened in Grant. So you, so for me, the issue still is, what did the sheriff say, and what are the policies of an off-duty officer who still is wearing an, the uniform of the Washington County Deputy Sheriff? Uh, what are the rules? What are the regs? Did you get, did you get anything uh, from that with the sheriff? Well... You know, good question, and I, I have the articles right here on Grant that I did put a call into the sheriff's office. I did not hear back. I didn't follow up. I will follow up that uh, that was my question to the sheriff. What, uh, what, are you, what are, as sheriff, what are you doing? What is the policy? How are you going to allow your officers wearing, like you said, wearing the Washington County uniform, uh, whether they're on or off duty, they're still representing the sheriff's department and they're still representing the, the, their oath to the Constitution. And are you going to allow them to be, be misused by a rogue mayor that decides that two of the council people that were elected, the most recently elected, I, I need to say because the people are, are tired of what was on that council and the three, um, uh, Tom Carr, Jeff Huber, and Tina Lobens, and I'm going to talk about those let, three Well, cultures. let me just finish my conversation okay. real quick. Um, again, the issue for me is using uh, a law enforcement officer to enforce uh, rules, not laws. And, and to me, it's intimidating, particularly when it's an elected official. You know, I'm aware, uh, I've seen many council meetings and public bodies, uh, Maplewood is even one of them, uh, where law enforcement is used, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, the officer that's there, the politicians use them as a threat. If you say something wrong, or, you know, you're not threatening, but you just are saying something different. And now I understand, you know, even when I observed, I know Chief Schnell. For me, Chief Schnell's a great guy. I mean, you may disagree with him on some things, you may agree with him, but he's conversable and you can talk to him. And so when I saw him at a Maplewood City Council meeting, 